What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I do hope you lot are doing well and welcome to another video today which is a Chelsea news video. Today we're going to be talking about the return from injury from Callum hudson Adoy. We will be talking about Tamuri Bakayoko and how he potentially might not actually get loaned out or sold in this window. And we are also going to be talking about Davide Zappacosta's move to Roma. Before we do get into today's video, as per usual, I'd like to request that you do subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the bell notifications icon to keep it locked because I upload every single day. And also, why don't you like this video to do me a favour? You know what? Let's start with Davide Zappacosta. Such a peculiar signing for Chelsea. They bought him back in 2017 from Torino for £23 million. I guess that was always going to be like a backup for that money. I mean, it's still a lot of money for a backup. It was the kind of dumb signing that Chelsea were making at the time, you know, with your Danny Drinkwaters. It's when Chelsea lost the plot a little bit and I think Conte was losing his mind. Zappacosta signed a four-year deal with Chelsea and although he probably had ambition to maybe challenge for that spot or to be in the first team. Last season, he only made four appearances. So you can understand why Zappa Costa wants out and you can kind of understand why Chelsea don't fancy him. The positive note is that he's been an incredibly good professional about the whole thing. Uh, so say of Chelsea coach Frank Lampard. And he's just kept his head down and he's trying to get his move. And I guess Rome is a good project for him. I'd still probably see it as a jump up from Torino, even if it is a step down from Chelsea. So Chelsea have agreed a season-long loan deal with Roma for Zappa Costa to go back to Italy and actually play some football. So what does this mean? None of the Chelsea fan base are going to cry for Zappa Costa, but it does mean that Frank Lampard absolutely does believe in Chelsea youngster Reese James. James is an incredibly highly rated player. I've done a video on him and why I think he could be possibly the best right back in the Premier League. So he can absolutely debutise for Azpilicueta and probably before long take his spot. So thank you for the memory Zappa Costa. I mean I imagine he'll be sold after the loan. I can't see him returning to Chelsea to actually play but we'll always have the cross slash shot that he scored on his debut. Zappa Costa, he scores when he wants. What a peculiar signing. Anyway, we are going to talk about Callum hudson Adoy's return to the team and that's a big one and it's going to be a huge positive in terms of the way Chelsea play, but I do want to talk about Tomoe Bakayoko. Another peculiar signing when Chelsea got him, but maybe not that peculiar because a lot of teams wanted to buy Bakayoko. He was part of that golden generation, I suppose, of Monaco with, you know, Mendy, Lamar, um, Fabinho, Mbappe. And actually, I was quite impressed when Chelsea got the signature of Bakayoko. I thought he was going to be a really dominating, superb centre midfielder that can sort of boss the ball and slow things down and get the ball out of his feet to fellow attackers and just generally do good industrious work in the Chelsea midfield. The thing is, there is a player in there, but it looks like he's such a confidence player that it could be hugely detrimental to the Chelsea side. Obviously, when he arrived, he had a couple of great games, one being away at Spurs when he played through injury. But in the same sentence, Bakayoko has displayed some of the worst Chelsea performances ever seen. I think it was against Watford when he got sent off when, Jesus Christ, he was just so, so poor. So in hindsight, it was kind of maybe one of those drink water Zappa Costa signings and that period of Chelsea madness when they just did really bad in the transfer window and wasted a lot of money. But it is a little bit different in that there is a player in Bakayoko there and a lot of people had high hopes for him. But this brings us now to what Chelsea want to do with them. They want to get rid of him essentially, but they paid £40 million for Bakayoko and they want to get some value back. While he was on loan at Milan, it looked like Chelsea might have actually been able to do that because he enjoyed a really good spell of good form, but obviously some things happened over there and he's come back now and they don't want him. So Chelsea are willing to let Bakayoko go on loan this season to try and showcase some of his ability to recoup some money and also get his wages off the book for a season. Now, Monaco are interested. They want him back, but Chelsea director Marina Granoskaya isn't really interested. Now, apparently this is due to her thinking that Monaco, how they are at the moment, you know, they've been poor for a couple of years now, it's not the right environment to showcase his ability and try and recoup some decent money for him. So maybe she's of the thinking that he could go to a Champions League team, like a sort of lower echelons Champions League team, play and have some good performances, maybe against some big players, and then Chelsea can attempt to try and recoup more money that they've obviously initially invested in him. You can kind of understand the thinking, but 
Maybe it's just one of those times where Chelsea just have to take the L, flog him for whatever it is, like 20 million, and move on. Like Chelsea have reached James, one of their own at right back for cover and then can challenge, Chelsea also have many central midfielders from the academy as well. If you look at Ruben Mount, that can all sort of challenge each other, and there's good depth in the Chelsea midfield now, so... You know, people like Drinkwater, he's obviously gone to Burnley on loan. Bakayoko, just get him off the books. Do you know what I mean? Wipe the slate clean. You're not going to be paying the English lads too much money at the moment. So you're going to be saving money and just see how it goes. Right, so Callum hudson adore the young, shining teenage star in English football that German behemoth Bayern Munich wanted to break the bank to transfer to their club. You guys know the narrative. He's an excellent player. He's very talented. He's a very direct and technical player, the kind of player that Frank Lampard would see as incredibly important. And Frank Lampard has already said that. There's a really interesting thing with the contract in terms of the feel around Cobham and the club and the way people are talking about him. Some theorise that he's actually already signed the contract and it's just not been announced or it will be signed and everyone's comfortable about it. But Frank reiterates over and over in press conferences that Callum Hudson-Odoi is an incredibly important player for him and Chelsea moving forwards. Obviously Callum Hudson-Odoi endured that difficult Achilles injury last season but he's recovered incredibly fast, he's ahead of schedule, much further along than say Ruben Loftus-Cheek is and he is now back in full training with the first team. Superb news. But Frank said I think a few weeks ago that when he does come back he wants him to run a lot. Even if a player looked like he's fit and in good shape and running around to running to the level that Frank Lampard might demand of his players might be a whole different situation. Still, it's looking incredibly positive. We know Frank rates him incredibly highly and he's back in training so we know he's going to be an important player for Chelsea and feature quite a lot. So when is he going to return? Well, Lampard is very, very cautious with his players coming back from injury and he doesn't like to rush it. And what's testament to this is probably how he dealt with N'Golo Kante. Lampard explained how he was really, really looking forward to working with N'Golo Kante when he was appointed Chelsea manager, but he didn't put him in straight away. He values him so highly and with injuries these days you've got to be so careful that he nursed him back in so, so slowly. It might be the same thing with Callum Hudson-Odoi but apparently it's a bit more to do with fitness but we can expect to see him feature for Chelsea at Molyneux after the international break. So that will give him plenty of time to get up to speed. There's two more competitive games in the Premier League for Chelsea before the international break um, and he'll be training with the team. We might even see him on the bench for for maybe the game against Sheffield, but who knows? Provided he's up to speed, match fitness, match sharpness, playing against Wolverhampton would probably be a really good time to return to Chelsea. And that's the kind of game where Chelsea would probably need his talent, his skill set, his attributes to help them win against a team like Wolverhampton. It will certainly be exciting to see the first match that Callum hudson Doy starts on the right or the left and Christian Pulisic starts on the other side. You could have Callum hudson Doy traveling with the ball at his feet, doing little combinations, one twos, getting into the final third. You could have Christian Pulisic playing on the shoulder, breaking the lines and getting to the byline and crossing back to oncoming central midfield runners or even the striker. I've actually already done a video on how Christian Pulisic and Callum Hudson-Odoi can tear up the Premier League together and I'd urge you to go and watch that because it's a really interesting combination of how these two bright young talents could really complement each other and complement the Chelsea team. So, really positive news. People thought Callum Hudson-Odoi might be out for a long, long time, um, but it looks like he's happy, healthy and fit and really he's just integrating himself into the team and the philosophy a bit more and getting up to that top, top Frank Lampard match fitness level. So generally, all positive news. We've said thank you and goodbye to Zappa Costa. I can't imagine he'll ever play for Chelsea again. It's nice to see Marina Granescar doing her best to get the best recoup value out of Bakayoko. That's what she does best, really. And Callum hudson Adoy is looking happy, healthy, and maybe he's already signed the contract? We're only speculating at the moment, but there are a few things coming out of the club and people around them saying, I think, what was it, his barber tweeted a picture of him cutting his hair saying, oh, I'm so happy to see Callum hudson Adoy is going to be hanging around for a bit longer or something. Maybe he said to him, yeah, man, I'm staying, I'm staying. So positive news, he's going to be a huge player for Chelsea. And I know it's that cliche, but he'll be like a new signing for Chelsea. And you know what? 
Ruben Loftus Cheek's gonna be like that as well. By the end of this season, people are gonna stop talking about, oh, Chelsea, the transfer ban. Oh, they lost Eden Hazard. Oh, Frank Lampard's first season. You know what? I think personally, when Hudson Adoy and Loftus Cheek return to the team, and you know what, Antonio Rudiger, who's in full training as well, when they all return to the team, they could all be starters, absolutely. And suddenly, you're looking at a much different, more threatening, more solidified Chelsea side. So what do you guys think of this news? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see next on Football Therapy. And let me know if you've enjoyed the video. Get in the comments. If you have enjoyed the video today, guys, please do like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can also follow me on social media as well, at Football Yannick, and that's on Twitter and Instagram. All right, guys, that's it from me. You guys enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby